Hello, it's me again, Klang, and welcome back to my channel, and welcome to another episode of Miss Bullion's Classroom. Today, we're going to discuss how to use Safe YouTube in interactive read aloud. But before that, don't forget to hit like this video, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. If you want to make an interactive read aloud in your class and you want to link YouTube videos but you don't want to see ads or any playlist along with it, I am introducing you Safe YouTube. Today we are just going to use the Safe YouTube and um, Google Slides. I have pre-made a Bitmoji classroom and today we are going to use Nick Butterworth's work for our read aloud. So I have already downloaded pictures of the books that he made and I have already made links for the first five um, books in here. So I will show you what happened if I use Safe YouTube. So I will click one of this. It has already linked. So this is how it looks like. So as you can see, there is no playlist, and if you are going to play it, as you can see, there is no yellow stuff in here. That would be, or that would show you the, um, the ads. So yes, there is no ads nor playlist in Safe YouTube. Now, how does it work? So let's use this one. I haven't put link in here. Okay, let me just adjust a little bit. Okay, so the title of this book is After the Storm. So I'm gonna go to YouTube. So I will type here, After the Storm, Nick Butterworth, read aloud, click search, and then here you go. Hello. And then copy I'm the Nick link. Butterworth. And this is a Pursuit of Park Keeper story called After the and then go to um, safeyoutube.net, copy, oops, copy, generate the link. There you are, as easy as that. So you have now the link of a safe YouTube video. So you go back to your slides, click link, insert link insert or paste the safe youtube link apply that's it so when you click present click that one and then it will lead you or navigate you to a safe youtube that net if you want to share this to your class but you are afraid that the students might um, move any of your links or change any of your links, you can just download a PDF file of this um, slide. So you can just go to File, Download, and PDF Document, and that's it. There you are, guys. That is how to use Safe YouTube in Interactive Read Aloud. I hope this is helpful for you. Actually, this is not just used for Interactive Read Aloud. You can use Safe YouTube in any of your lesson. This is just to avoid ads and playlists so that the student will focus on the video that you want to share to them. So if this is helpful for you, don't forget to hit like the video, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. Thank you. Have a great day.